Hello and welcome to the video lectures on CAT. As per this COVID-19 situation is concerned, we are going to study this subject by using the online platforms. Weekly live classes will be conducted on Google Meet and YouTube Live. And the assignment on the practicals that we are going to perform will be provided on the Google Classroom. Also, this video on CAD will be available on my YouTube channel, eTech School. So I request you to note down and subscribe my YouTube channel eTech School and press the bell icon to get the notifications of newly uploaded videos so that you will not miss anything. Hello and welcome to lectures on computer added drawing, CAD. Myself Srigan Balaji. I will be teaching you CAD. As all of you know, drawing is an integral part of engineering and nowadays all drawing in engineering are drafted by using software. In all branches of engineering, various softwares are used to model various objects, parts or complete system using two-dimensional and three-dimensional views. Also in civil engineering, software drafting tools are used to draw civil engineering drawing like plan, elevation, section of any building or structure using two-dimensional or three-dimensional drawings and also isometric views as per requirement. Therefore, this subject is included at third semester in your syllabus so that civil engineering diploma holder will get an essential skill of using CAD as a drawing tool to draw, read and interpret the civil engineering drawings. This will also provide the more speed accuracy, repetitive use of drawings as and when needed. Through this technique, you will be able to edit the existing drawing and create new two-dimensional, three-dimensional and isometric drawings as per requirement. Various computer-added drawing softwares are available in market from different software companies. I have listed few popular software used for drafting 2D and 3D structure. These are Thinkercad, FreeCAD, BlockCAD, Fusion 360, SolidWorks, AutoCAD, Katia, OpenESCAD, Rhino, and SmartDraw. If you learn any one of the software, then you will be able to work with another software with little bit practice. Therefore, to study our practicals, we are going to use AutoCAD, which is a product of Autodesk. To learn any software, you need practice, like you play games in mobile. I think you might be playing games on mobile and at the starting when you are new to the game you may feel it difficult to play but as you keep on playing and when you come to know about tricks and shortcuts in the game you will feel it easy to play. In the similar way in earlier stages you may feel difficulty in use of software but as you keep on practicing like games you will come to know about tricks and shortcuts in software and slowly you will become master in software then your hands will do work without much thinking so this is all about the overview of the subject now let us see the teaching and marking scheme of the subject as this subject is completely software based so it doesn't have any theory lectures but we have four hours practical in week in which we will study theory and hands-on practicals of this subject and very important thing is marks this subject carry 100 marks and minimum you must get 40 marks to pass in this subject. These 100 marks are further divided into 50 and 50. 50 marks are for the end semester exam. That means you have 50 marks exam at end of this semester. And in this end semester exam, you must get at least 20 marks to pass in the end semester exam. The 50 marks are reserved for the PA, Progressive Assessment or we call it as in term work. So term work consists of journals and micro project. Both of these together consist of a term work and for this term work 50 marks are reserved and out of this 50 you must get at least 20 marks to pass in the term work. Your term work will consist of journal with relevant write up and output of experiment in the form of printout as an output and soft copy as well. And you will be allotted a micro project in the group. You have to also complete this micro project in the stipulated period. So after completion of this uh, subject. You will be competent to draw the civil engineering drawing using the computer added drawing softwares. And to achieve this competency or the objective, we have also mapped the course outcomes. The first course outcome is to interpret the given two dimensional drawing. Interpret means what? If somebody keeps drawing in front of you, you must be able to identify for what purpose this drawing is actually made for. Is this drawing is made for a railway platform? bus stand is this drawing is made for the residential building or school hospital ctc and you must be able to find out various parts on this drawing like hall kitchen 
dimensions of the drawing all these things you must be able to interpret after the completion of the syllabus second course outcome is use cad software for drafting and editing two dimensional drawings third outcome is locate the dimensions of drafted drawing so you must be able uh, to find out the dimensions of a drafted drawing and last outcome is draw the isometric and three dimensional drawings after completion of this course